family is molded by its head. Similarly, a nation mirrors its leaders, and the Namibian house is full of scandals. We're just lucky our neighbors have their own drama to deal with, otherwise we'd be the family everyone would have to be gossiping about. The fact that our leaders and those entrusted to positions of power appear to be untouchable and above the law is problematic. I see it more and more. Namibians really have a stank attitude, and I blame it on the leadership. I mean, who is serving who here? From the taxi driver to the nurses at the hospital, attitudes are stank. Our service industry is an embarrassment. Everybody wants to be a boss and no one is willing to serve, which is our purpose here, people, service to mankind, no matter what role you choose to play. Thank you for watching It's a Wrap, where we take a look at the service we get from government in exchange for our hard-earned taxes and other topical issues. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. There is no justice. There's just us. And were it not for the media, the voice of the people, gross violations of human rights would just be swept under the carpet. I spoke to the Ombudsman, Advocate John Walters, about Namibia's very wanting justice system. Uh, the institution of Ombudsman in Namibia is a very unique institution in the sense that it has a very broad mandate. And the uh, mandates of the Ombudsman includes uh, the receiving and investigation of complaints relating to maladministration or bad administration, uh, the investigations of instances of violations of human rights and freedoms. Thirdly, the protection of the environment. And there's a last one which I just usually shift over to the police. And that is uh, the investigation of uh, instances of, of matters uh, involving misappropriation of state monies and misuse of government property. But misappropriation of public monies is, is just a, a, a smarter word, a better word for theft of money. So I, I, usually I keep our hands off such matters because it's a criminal matter and it, it belongs to the police. Because we are an individual complaint handling uh, uh, institution, uh, every in, uh, complaint which we received is for us important because we are dealing with a human being. And for him or her, that complaint is very important. And he and she or she wants that uh, complaint to be uh, uh, resolved as speedily as possible. The biggest challenge in my office is the lack of response and speedy response, response from government institutions from as high up as ministers. That is frustrating and that is challenging.